I was born in Bangkok and uh, I'm born with the uh, uh, genetic disease called hemophilia. Uh, I think hemophilia is one of the rare disease, but uh, now we can call it like a common rare disease because uh, it's not really complicated to treat hemophilia and the number of a patient is not quite super, uh, super low uh, in terms of the number. Uh, but I'm now 45 years old, uh, but look back in my childhood, it was so difficult uh, 40 years ago. Uh, the limit of the doctor knows about hemophilia is nothing to benefit from the, from the government. Uh, it was very really challenging for my parents to deal with the hemophilia, my hemophilia. Uh, but after that, 40 years later, now uh, hemophilia can get some benefit from uh, treatment product from the government. Uh, we have uh, 50 hemophilia treatment center in Thailand. Uh, doctor knows about hemophilia, but not the ER doctor, but in general, it. Uh, hematologists know hemophilia. And we, the most important is they uh, tend to have a patient organization. That, uh, that's the big part. Uh, they try to listen what the patient needs, what the patient lifestyle, what the parents had to deal with the uh, kid with hemophilia. That's really useful because that's another one way that the government tried to give the, some thing to the family, but uh, they listen to what the family needs. I think that's a big shame. And now they uh, rely on the family that can take care. And the patient is a step to be a part of uh, 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 government uh, beneficial uh, scheme. So uh, they, one, the, one, the most important thing they, they create the, uh, uh, the home treatment, uh, they give the factor, which is the, 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 the treatment product that you have to do the cell infusion. And they allow the patient to do the cell infusion or the parents can give the, the brain infusion to the kid. I think that that, that change uh, hemophilia life uh, because we don't need to travel to the hospital uh, we can take the medication right away at home that change everything. Uh, and now the government increased the number of the treatment product almost every year. Uh, I can tell that uh, hemophilia, one of the rare diseases that the government uh, give a benefit and support. And now they try to support other uh, rare diseases in Thailand too. Yeah, if the family uh, had a diagnosis, the kid with hemophilia, uh, in Thailand, I think they can get so many uh, information from a patient organization. And now today, uh, hemophilia uh, doctors uh, can take care of uh, the new case very well. Uh, in terms of the uh, treatment product the government can provide. And they have a, a support group uh, that can get uh, to know about how to raise a kid with hemophilia. Uh, the parent has to learn uh, about how to raise a kid. And it takes uh, some time to know about how to, how to treat. But luckily, uh, hemophilia do not affect much with the infant because uh, the kid cannot move, they cannot uh, get some uh, uh, bruise from so many activities until they can get to the school that the parent have to learn how to deal with the kid when they go to school. Uh, but because of the internet system and so many information on the internet that uh, uh, the parents can get, I think that's really useful now today for the parents who has hemophilia kid.
Uh, I would recommend for uh, the parents who have a kid with rare disease. Uh, first, I think the most important how you can get together as a group. Um, even if we have, even that this rare disease have really low number, uh, but you have to try to get together uh, as many as you can. Uh, you have to build up relationship with the doctor, which is, I know that we really, really limit number of doctors who knows about rare disease, but you have to try to reach them, uh, get to know them, build up the relationship, uh, try to set up the, the patient group that really powerful and helpful, not only for you, but for overall uh, rare disease uh, communities. And, and then uh, the doctor and the patient organization can, can, can talk and think about uh, what benefit that uh, you would like to have from the government. And then you can go to, to talk to the government representative and try to uh, let them understand how difficult to live uh, with the kid with the rare disease and how the government can hand in anything that can change this kid's life. Uh, um, most of the rare disease is from genetic disease. Uh, we try to talk to the government that is the kid born with rare disease, there's nothing wrong with them. They, they didn't do anything wrong. If you compare with uh, some diseases that some behavior that can lead you to that disease. But this kid is born with the disease. You have to uh, give, give this family a chance to raise this kid and this kid can live uh, in the society. I think there's society that we uh, learn how to share, how to do, have the compassion uh, to the family who has a kid or have to deal with this uh, situation. If I can change uh, something for rare disease or the most important thing that I would like to change for rare disease. Uh, I, I will pick uh, the genetic test. Uh, I think that's one of the most important diagnosis. Uh, because when you have a genetic test, uh, you have a lab uh, that can diagnose uh, I think the so as soon as the family knows uh, the name of the disease, they can get the information. They can find out how to raise the kid. Uh, but if they lay a diagnosis or they don't have a genetic test, uh, I can imagine with this kid with. A rare disease or the family have to raise this kid with some problem in front, but they have no idea. Uh, or they might try in the wrong way, uh, wrong treatment uh, to this kid. The thing will get in worse and worse. Uh, so if I want to change, not, not, not just only for hemophilia, but for any rare disease, uh, I think genetic. Uh, diagnosis, genetic test is one of the most important. And the second important may be education. Uh, education for the family, education in terms of the, the, the doctor, uh, hospital people to try to create a uh, uh, treatment to, to, to this kid, not, not only the treatment, uh, the, the mental care and the physical care for the family who has the kid with rare disease thing is the most important. Uh, because the, I, I learned that the treatment product is not only one thing that can, can, can 
can treat uh, rare disease. Uh, they, they have to get some mental help too, uh, especially for, for family parents. Uh, when I was a kid, I think I, I, I didn't affect much, much with my, my hemophilia. Uh, I can say that I didn't care much. I hurt and I get treatment and I get back to play, to do something naughty and I got bruised and I got treatment. It's kind of looping like this, but the person who have to deal with this all the time, it was my parents. And when I grow up, so I learned that, oh, I, I can imagine how how's my parents have to deal with this many, many, many times. Uh, if they don't have the patient, other family to talk, and the doctor is so busy to talk, how my parents to, to, to talk this with, with who? I think uh, education is important. The rare disease community in Thailand has been improving, uh, especially this year, uh, the government uh, start to have the committee, rare disease committee, uh, and they put some budget for all the rare diseases. Uh, they start to have 24 rare diseases that can get some uh, benefits from the government uh, in terms of the uh, diagnosis and some treatments. Uh, we know that 24 is kind of a low number of uh, rare diseases, but uh, this is just a good sign, a good start that they separate the rare disease from other diseases because rare diseases have so many conditions and so many uh, economy system that are different from uh, other, other diseases. Uh, then now they have a, a special a committee to only discuss about rare disease. And we hope that in the future, uh, the Thai government will allow more uh, rare diseases include in this uh, policy and also they can give more budget for rare disease in Thailand. Uh, I would think now uh, the government, they pay more attention on rare diseases and they care about the minority group in Thailand and they are more open for the patient to set up the organization patient organization. In the past, they have some uh, obstacle uh, policy to patient to get together, but now uh, pretty easy to patient to get together and set up the group. You can get some uh, small uh, budget from the government. You can meet uh, the, the, uh, the budget for the, the travel to meet, something like that. And the hospital, uh, they support the patient organization also. 